Today I will be showing you guys what I think is possibly the best way to complete the veteran veneer challenge. Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day and today is going to be another challenge guide video. So we are going to be completing the veteran veneer challenge and in order to complete this challenge we have to complete two other challenges so we could unlock this one and those other two challenges being montage starter kit and infamous so let's go ahead and check out the first one so the first one we have to complete is montage starter kit which is where you just have to earn 500 headshots in match made games this is definitely one of the easiest challenges um, but unfortunately the only way you can complete this is by using the battle rifle so if you're a huge reach fan or CE fan um, you might not be a fan of this challenge but I feel like most people like the BR so but yeah the only available weapon for this challenge is the BR so that means you can only play Halo 2 Classic, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3 and Halo 4 so now let's go ahead and take a look at the second challenge that we need to complete in order to unlock the veteran veneer challenge and that second challenge being infamous which is where you have to earn 200 multi-kill or spree category medals in match made pvp pvp games so this one's a little more difficult than the first challenge because you actually have to get um spree medals which is not the easiest thing i think the easiest spree medal you can get is double kill which is just getting two kills within like a short time frame or something like that so now that we've looked over the challenges we know what we need to do so the best way that I found to uh, get progress towards both of them at the same time so you could complete it pretty quickly is by playing SWAT. So SWAT is just honestly probably like the best game type for completing like most challenges in this game I would say. Or, I, or at least like a good amount. So yeah you want to go ahead and choose SWAT, take off Reach and CE, and only have Halo 2, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, and Halo 4 as we can only use battle rifle and for the selected game types go ahead and choose SWAT only because that's what we're doing we're only doing SWAT boom look at that man I just got a triple kill as you can see perfect example of why SWAT is great <laughs> for like these challenges um, you know you could start off a little slow you know you might get farmed um, you know that's kinda how SWAT is um, so don't get kinda like you know worried or anything um, if you're doing terrible at first, because really SWAT is anyone's game. You could be in the lead by like 20 kills and then just all of a sudden lose. Um, but boom, there we go. See, double kill. We had a triple kill earlier, so that counts as one point towards our spree metal thingy. Which I think is montage starter kit. I think it's the montage starter kit uh, challenge for the spree medals or whatever. And then, of course, you know, just by killing people without, even if you don't get a double kill or whatever, you're still at least earning progress towards the other challenge, which is uh, Infamous or whatever. Um, it's it's kind of hard. I don't know. these The way they name these challenges is kind of weird. I don't know. I don't like the Montage Starter Kit. <laughs> I don't know. That's just a weird name for a challenge, in my opinion. Now, let's say maybe you don't like SWAT, you're not a fan of it, or you just completely, like, suck at it. There is an alternate way for the infamous challenge, at least, to complete this one. Um, for the montage starter kit, you do have to play SWAT. I think it's very... I highly recommend playing SWAT. I mean, I guess, really, you could just play, like, a Team Slayer or something, but it's definitely going to take longer to complete this one if you do Slayer or something, because that time to kill is much higher. But for infamous, you actually do have a second option if you don't want to do SWAT for that one. Um, you could actually play Infection, because I know a lot of people like Infection. So Infection, I think, is another great way of earning medals towards the Infamous. In fact, it might be a little better than SWAT. I mean, it kind of depends on which one you're better at, really. But, but that is definitely another method you can try if you want to just complete the Infamous one. Maybe you've already completed the other one, which is just Headshots. Um, for the Infamous challenge, you could definitely do this instead of SWAT if you want. Because um, I've tested this out too, it actually does count. I'll go ahead and try to see if I could have, a, I think I have a clip of it. Go ahead and throw it up to show you guys. But it does also count towards uh, the infamous challenge. 
even though it doesn't show those infection metals on here, they're essentially the same metals anyways. Um, so, yeah, you know, infection is definitely another way you could complete the infamous challenge. Alright guys, so that is how you complete the veteran veneer challenge. I'm going to go ahead and start grinding it myself. Um, I already have been grinding it a bit. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grind my way there. Should be pretty quick. If this challenge guide helped you guys out, please let me know. Of course, if uh, you found a better method or some other method, you know, be sure to share with the community down below in the comments section. Because these videos are made by the community, for the community. Um, and yeah, consider subscribing, liking the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.